hello guys this is a continuation of javascript executor and uh, i have added some more methods which it might be useful for you in future so let's say through javascript okay you can actually uh, return the domain name like what is the domain name so for facebook the domain name is facebook.com so you can just write this web driver dot execute script and you need to uh, remember this return okay in double quote return document dot domain and put a semicolon so when you write return document dot domain basically it will give you the domain of the applications in fact you can in the console you can just write document dot domain and if you hit enter you can see that it is giving that facebook dot com so whatever javascript you are able to execute here in the console same thing you can run through selenium also right similarly uh, you can fetch the url of the applications also by writing return document dot url and put a semicolon right so when you write this document dot url you copy this from here and you paste here and hit enter see it's a facebook.com this is the url okay so it is giving you the url of the applications when you write document dot url you can run in the console itself similarly you can get the title also by webdriver dot execute script and you can just write return document dot title so document dot title will give you the title of the application hit enter title is facebook login or sign up this is the title of the applications right now what does mean by this so any java i mean let's say you have any applications and you want to scroll down through javascript you can use this ready made method ex uh, webdriver dot execute script in double quote you can write window dot scroll to window dot scroll to in parenthesis you can write zero comma document dot body dot scroll height you can write document dot body dot scroll height this will scroll vertically then again you came down now you need to go up so you can do that webdriver dot execute script window dot scroll to again in parenthesis zero comma you just do minus because you went down then when you do minus it will come up so you write document dot body dot scroll height now you want to scroll to the specific pixel okay so instead of 1500 i will just write here uh, 100 and again i will write 100 so this it will go down by 100 pixel and again it will come back by 100 pixels so here you have to write window dot scroll to 0 comma 100 again window dot scroll to 0 comma minus 100 so 100 down 100 up now you want to scroll till some particular object so in my this applications i want to scroll till this create a page i want to scroll till here create a page so you can write the xpath for this guy create a page and you can write like this arguments of 0 arguments of 0 dot scroll into view true so in double quote you write arguments of 0 which means for this locator get the first argument whatever comes in the first dot scroll into view true I means scroll to the view I mean go till there make it true and then you write driver dot find element by dot x path right now let me run that and see that if this all javascript functions functions are working fine So I just ran, applications will launch. So it will enter the username password, it will click on the sign in, see a scroll down, then go a scroll up, a scroll up, then a scroll by 100, a scroll by 100, then a scroll by minus 100, go back, yeah go back and uh, the thing is this locator is not found in this object and on this page this particular locator is not found in this on in this object so what i'll do is i will not call this click wala when we click it is going to the different page okay so now let's see that now again run so why i commented sign in so that i'll be in the same page because in the same page we have one locator for that i have written x path so let's see that now how it works
and with this you will be able to answer all the questions in the interview uh, in at least javascript executor related so first it should enter username password yeah it went down it will come up after 3 seconds yeah then it will go down by 100 uh, pixel yeah it will come back by 100 pixels then it will go till the locator create and page so this create and page it didn't scroll this create and page why so let me see that invalid selector oh this is saying that invalid selector so okay yeah i did a mistake while writing the xpath here i should not write this okay now let me again run that So let's see now. Yeah, it will scroll down now. Yeah, it will scroll up. Okay, it will scroll by 100 pixel. So here the scroller is a small. So you guys are not able to correlate. What will you happen now? Invalid selector. Same thing. But you can see that. See, domain name got printed. URL got printed title got printed and vertical horizontal got scrolled also only it is failing here so why it is failing here let me cross check this locator go to element here right control f oh i think there is some problem with this Oh, this is the object, okay. This is the object, take this object and uh, in double quote, this is the object actually, okay. So it was wrongly written. Now again, we will run that. So it, it it yeah now it got a scrolled create and page so till here it got a scrolled and you can see that everything is successful right so you're all vertically horizontally and till the object it is working fine when this is useful when we have to scroll till the object whenever you have very big a scroller vertically it's like e-commerce applications where you have to scroll 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 right so what you can do is you can scroll till your object and then you can click on the object right so with this we are done with javascript executor in selenium thank you guys thank you for watching this